Hi, I'm Gavin Fraser, I'm Head of Year 9. And I'm Michael Rosenfield, wait for it, the experiential learning leader in Year 9. <laughs> uh, this year, so far for us, has been an absolutely fantastic year. Uh, Mike, some of the highlights for you? Uh, we've had some great, great trips. We've had city experience happening, but um, most recently, one of our best events for the year has been our personal best uh, evening mm. here at the college. Big night indeed, wasn't it? It's a massive, massive night and the best we have done so far. I'd agree, Mike. Um, what were some of the highlights for you? Um, I reckon the highlight for me was seeing our students get up on stage for the first time and conquer those fears of just getting up there in front of 700 people. That was just amazing to watch that. was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and I think all the acts this year were absolutely amazing. Brilliant, brilliant. Some, uh, we had some really interesting technological stuff happen on stage, which worked out really well in the end. We had like parents cheering and students yelling in elation, yes, it's working for me, it's great. <laughs> so it was, there was lots of support from the um, community, it was fantastic. Mm. And then some of the projects back in the classroom, uh, oh. wow, absolutely blew my mind this year, and the portfolios as well were a real highlight for me. As Just well. amazing. Yeah. I mean, we took our students into the city this year to have a look at the top designs, which is the top VC design work for uh, last year, and some of the portfolio work there was amazing. And I reckon some of the work our students did, although you know, a little bit smaller, was just comparable in some way. It was just great, great stuff. So, certainly on a part of a lot of the things we did see in the city at Top Designs, uh, and certainly a, a trip well worthwhile for us to go in, and certainly for the students. Mm. Um, and great to parent, uh, parent support this year as well. I think parents really got on board and have a really good understanding of the program and, and what we're on about at the moment too. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I, I spoke to the maintenance guy. I said, oh, make sure you put about 700 seats out. I thought, oh, you know, that's, we will never fill that. But the gym was completely packed for the night and there was a real hum uh, of positivity in the air mm. for that night. It was just really, really fantastic to see the parents and community totally involved and supportive of our students. Absolutely. And Mike, what were probably two or three of the really big things that you saw the students getting out of Personal Best this year? Yeah, so I think one of the things that I saw is definitely confidence and an absolute building of resilience. I mean, one of our students in my class, I mean, he wrote a 40,000 word book. I mean, that is an incredible feat. It's a massive effort. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah. Yep. So um, for you, just give me one, one, one project that you saw you thought was that was just an amazing piece of work. Oh, uh, look, where to start? There were so many to pick from. Uh, one that, that stuck out for me was a, a student who made this wonderful uh, um, like wall stand, which is going to go in his hallway. Um, I actually offered to, to buy it off him, and I, I'm going to go with two here, Mike, because there were so many that were so good. Uh, another student um, made some fantastic artwork on her iPad, um, and I've actually offered to buy some of those art, uh, pieces of artwork as well and, and frame them up in my room. Just And I could go on forever and a day. It was just amazing. Yeah. I think Personal Best has really given our students a chance to step up and grow, and grow in confidence a lot, build a lot of resilience, mm -hmm. and um, build a, build a skill set that they wouldn't have had if they had had this chance to do this three month project, which has been an amazing journey on its own. Absolutely, yeah. so uh, might now throw her to Indiana and uh, she can talk about her personal best project. Beauty, let's do it. Great. Hello, I'm Indy, I'm in year nine, and this is my experience with personal best. Hey Indy, tell us something about your personal best project. Um, well, for my personal best project, I created a saddle pad, which was uh, like a horsey thing. Um, it goes underneath the saddle. Um, I used sewing techniques a lot, which I learnt from my nan, and I spent the first few weeks of personal best learning about how to sew, and then went out and bought all the fabrics. And the process took a while, but it was really worth it, and I really enjoyed it. So how long's a while? How long did the whole process take from start to finish? the whole time, it took all of three months, but if I added up the hours, I think it came to over 150, not including the school periods. So tell us the highlights of Personal Best, something that you got out of it personally. Um, one of my highlights would definitely be the night, because it was really great, and you got to see how hard everyone worked, and everyone's project was amazing, and you got to see a little bit of someone else and what they like. And what were some of the skills that you developed? Um, sewing. I could not sew. Um, the first line of sewing when I did that, I had to do it again. <laughs> but also just like talking to all my horsey friends, I got to learn about like things are so expensive in the horsey world, so a skill developed would be being able to do things.